Defeat into Victory, by William Slim, A Literary Analysis William Slim's Defeat into Victory is a poignant and insightful account of his experiences as the supreme commander of the Allied forces in Southeast Asia during World War II. Published in 1956, this memoir offers a unique perspective on leadership, strategy, and the transformation of defeat into victory. Slim's narrative skillfully weaves historical events, personal reflections, and military tactics to convey a profound message about resilience and leadership. Slim's narrative begins with a candid admission of the dire situation he encountered upon his arrival in Southeast Asia. Japanese forces had swept through Burma, and the Allies were in disarray. Slim's initial assessment reveals the grim reality of the situation, creating a somber backdrop for the transformation that unfolds throughout the book. One of the most striking aspects of Slim's memoir is his emphasis on the human dimension of warfare. He consistently stresses the importance of leadership, morale, and the indomitable spirit of the soldiers. He recognizes the critical role played by soldiers and civilians alike, referring to them as, my soldiers, and, my people, a testament to his commitment and responsibility as a commander. Slim's ability to inspire his troops is a central theme in the book. He paints a vivid picture of how he worked tirelessly to restore confidence and trust within the Allied forces. His emphasis on re-establishing morale, discipline, and camaraderie among his troops underscores the idea that a defeated army can transform into a victorious one through effective leadership and a shared sense of purpose. In Defeat into Victory, Slim also provides a comprehensive account of the military strategies he employed. He carefully outlines the challenges and obstacles he faced in Burma, emphasizing the importance of logistics and the need to adapt to the harsh terrain. His insights into the intricacies of military planning, particularly his use of defensive strategies followed by well-timed offensives, showcase his military acumen. The narrative is not solely focused on the military aspects of the war, Slim also delves into the cultural and human dynamics of the region. He demonstrates an understanding of the local populations and their role in the conflict. Slim's respectful approach to the diverse communities in Southeast Asia and his commitment to avoiding civilian casualties present a contrasting image to the brutality of war, highlighting the importance of ethical conduct even in times of conflict. Throughout the memoir, Slim reflects on the necessity of learning from one's mistakes. He openly discusses instances where he made errors in judgment and the importance of adapting and evolving in response to changing circumstances. This humility and willingness to acknowledge fallibility underline the key theme of transformation, that defeat can be a catalyst for growth and ultimate victory. Slim's narrative style is both engaging and eloquent. His vivid descriptions and personal anecdotes add depth to the historical account. Readers are not only provided with a strategic overview of the conflict but also a glimpse into the emotional and psychological dimensions of leadership during wartime. Defeat into victory ultimately serves as a testament to the resilience of the human spirit and the capacity for transformation in the face of adversity. Slim's experiences and insights remind us that even in the darkest of times, there is room for hope and growth. His unwavering commitment to his troops, his ability to adapt to changing circumstances, and his deep respect for the people and culture of Southeast Asia demonstrate the qualities of a remarkable leader. In conclusion, William Slim's Defeat into Victory is a powerful and thought-provoking account of leadership, resilience, and the transformation of defeat into triumph. Through his vivid storytelling, Slim offers a profound lesson in the potential for positive change, even in the most challenging of circumstances. His memoir stands as a timeless source of inspiration for leaders and readers alike, 
reminding us that victory can emerge from the ashes of defeat when guided by strong leadership, determination, and a belief in the human spirit.